For those of you tuning in for the first time, I'm Erica. And for those of you returning, welcome back. Greg and I raise and breed Connie Corsos, French Bulldogs, Great Pyrenees, goats, chickens, ducks, and rabbits, all on our homestead property. We are proud homesteaders and preppers building a life and legacy of self-sufficiency. Don't forget, you can find us on our second YouTube channel called 12TK Behind the Scenes on Instagram, Facebook, and now we're even on TikTok. So when we're away, you can always find our updates. But before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. It really helps our channel grow and it will allow us time to make even more of these videos. Well, that was a bit of an adventure. This is a new building that we have been waiting on literally for the past six months. And we are going to be adding it to uh, what we call the village. And the village is a two and a half, almost three acre fenced in area specifically just for our titans so our corsos the puppies etc are all in the village and this particular building we've called it the gentleman's club right now we have two or three structures one being the main area which we've called the honey hut and the both the females and the males are in the honey hut and the intention was always to allow the females to have the honey hut exclusively and have another building for the males and so that's why we call it the gentleman's club <laughs> and the larger building would be the honey hut and most of you've seen the uh, third structure which is the nursery and clinic and we call that the tiny titan chateau well this building again has been planned for since we've moved to the homestead and it's you know it's been a long time coming and so we're excited to get it uh we knew that it was coming today we didn't have the exact time and so i was just literally going up the trail to see if the uh, other side of the property gate was uh open and they had already made their way down the trail and so i was a bit taken aback um, but that's okay because we uh, are just happy that it, it finally arrived. And so what you saw was me literally backing that thing up <laughs> because it's a tiny trail. Most of it is grown up at this point. But you can see this is the area where uh, the Gentleman's Club will be. And um, I think most of you, if you've watched some of our shorts, you'll see that uh, we'll build it out just like a normal home like we did the nursery where there was nothing we will completely uh renovate it or i don't know if you call it renovating but we'll completely finish it such that it too will have individual cubbies and an area prep area for um making not only uh, their food meals and things like that but general um, maintenance and food prep i'll be able to do all of that over at the gentleman's club so 
this will complete that trinity, I guess, where we have the males, the females, and the nursery. And so, again, really excited about it. Long time coming. And, uh, yeah, it's good. So it looks good. And the property is, is definitely evolving. And um, nothing is the same from when we first made it down to the homestead. But as everything else goes, uh, you know, progress it takes time and effort, a lot of dedication and sacrifice. Well, got to go because today we also have some puppy pickups that we need to do. And uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay. Just a little token of our appreciation. Oh, that's, wow. That's you, Jefferson. Got the dogs, the dog <laughs> treats. Got you. Oh, here. my mascato, Diasti. <laughs> that's funny. And we got another Well, you know, we need a lot more treats in there. We're going to need like <laughs> a couple of crates. We'll oh, nice. Rocky <laughs> Very dog. nice. And and what's that say? Oh. Oh, that's funny. I love it. How sweet is that? <laughs> yeah, the old house, that would have been very appropriate. No, now, because well, Asha Asha's took, she yeah. has wiggled her way onto the couch, and now it's her couch. Isn't that funny? Oh. Well, we got a, we got a <laughs> sectional, what, in December, January? Because we knew the puppy would be soon, so we're like, we're going to get a bigger couch for all the dogs. It's for everybody. Now, how, how many will that be? Three? We'll have four now. Four? The four? Is it we two have, Dotsons? We have one Dotson and two Staffies. Oh, there's staffies. Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute mm -hmm. is that? Okay, well, you may as well just add one more. Yeah, that's what we're looking for property now. So. Get black or track uh, well, my next yeah, track. My next big purchase might be a um, uh, compact track loader. Oh, skid mm -hmm. I just so many uses around here for it and the attachment mm -hmm. stuff. It's Dang. just a Swiss Army knife, so I can't buy anything else before I buy it. Yeah, you gotta. You can do that. You can, you can get a black attachment for it mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. So I have a, I have the big backhoe which you guys saw in my John Deere 1025 as a backhoe on the back of it. So I kind of got that the thing in the trenches and stuff around here just drains. But I also rented a Kubota um, track home when I did the French drains over here. I was so spoiled. That, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, what right. I kept, that's what I cut my teeth on. Too, yeah. Is a extended hoe, mm -hmm. backhoe, yeah. and now I got a track hoe. Okay. A lot better. Yeah. Only been downsizing you ain't got a front load. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so nimble. I mean, you get these little small spaces right here. Yeah, instead of sitting here, there. Right? Now, can you guess which one is yours? You know. You know. I was thinking I was going to fool you. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Dasa. She is very much my Asha. Okay. So she's very vocal. Okay. She's gonna let you know every little quirk that she doesn't like, what she likes, what she wants, when she wants it, what she wants to eat. So she has um, a lot of personality. <laughs> so unless you guys gonna clean up, get out the way. No, that's our job. Get all in it. Now, if I had known, I just I bought the bucket. That's what I eat, so I don't use all the paper towels. Okay. She's long, isn't she? Oh yeah. She's gonna be like Asha. Oh yeah. Now, see, he's a boy too. Right? He's a boy. That's Aston. Their ears. We're gonna talk about their ears. We're gonna clean them out. 
and um, I'm gonna give them like um, the last shot of some medicine or give some medicine to you. This is all parasite control stuff uh, and explain everything. Um, usually sometimes we have double up where we have a couple of families come at the same time. This family's coming, but she's coming, they're coming for the Frenchie so they don't have to worry about ears or anything like that. Um, but yeah, then we have another. They got their stitches in the Yes, and I'll, I'll check them, I might be able to just take them out now. Hey folks, don't leave just yet. We've got something new that we want to show you. You can now schedule a virtual introduction meeting with me and Greg directly from our website. We are looking to build a relationship with our families for the lives of the puppies we offer. Therefore, we meet with all of our prospective families to ensure we're a good fit for them as well as for ourselves. So if you'd like to speak with us directly about reserving a Cane Corso or a French Bulldog, simply visit our website, fill out the questionnaire, and select a time on our calendar that works best with your schedule. is tempura. <laughs> That's tempura. 
That's tempura. This one is sukiyaki. Suki. Suki. Is that a sibling of uh Yeah, these, yeah. yeah. these are all the siblings. Nice. And this is this is tofu. His ears are trying to stand. <laughs> Not quite, but <laughs> that's tofu. <laughs> I love how the French Bulldogs play with the uh, King Corsos. They get along pretty good. I just, I just, it's just so cute how the King Corsos just deal with them. Yeah, well, they're pretty tough, too. These bullies are truly little bullies. Uh, nice. Don't bully her. She's little. We think ever we've got other dogs that I were like Aww. carrying around like a stuffed animal holding it all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, puppy parties are bittersweet, right? Um, but, you know, it makes it worth it when I see how happy the families are. So it keeps me motivated. But speaking of motivation, we still have lots of work to do. And I am cracking the whip. And so Greg has a lot on his honeydew list. So we'll end it here. And next time we come back, we'll show you some progress on the Gentleman's Club. Thank you again for tuning in and following us on our journey. If you appreciated the video, leave us a like. Feel free to share your respectful thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. It's the difference between watching a 17-year-old teenager and a 28-year-old man. He doesn't take any issue with Gatling following him, but he definitely will not tolerate any annoying puppy behavior. And of course, Asha is the matriarch and is completely unbothered or rather indifferent by Gatling's presence, so long as he too doesn't pester her as well. Gatling is basically mimicking their actions and staying respectful. So essentially, the older